brothers and sisters, um, thank you for joining me again today. Um, so it's the, the floodgates of heaven have just absolutely been opened. And um, so as I finished that last video, another whole like download of things uh, began to come. And um, so I'm going to share some more things with you um, on the Lord's calendar and how if we truly have God's uh, creation calendar from the beginning, we can align the dates in the Bible. We know exactly what they are. And then God can show us, um, they will literally show us what will happen, like what the event will look like now. Okay. So, um, so oh, this is so glorious. I, I don't even know where to start. Um, okay. So Christ had told me when I did the video back in the third month, um, on creation calendar and, and it was, um, it pertained to four one that I would see the dream, um, and others would see the dream of that, that I was given October 24th of 2021. And I would literally see it come to life before our eyes. Uh, we would actually see it. So if you, um, go to Joshua 5, 13 through 20, the angel with his sword drawn is the commander. Who's our commander? It's literally Yeshua. He will literally be, and in the dream, what happened? Um, the ground was smoldering with the fire. It was starting to ignite. So the earth is starting to ignite, but it's still smoldering. Um, not quite there yet. And in the dream, when the earth split, um, when I saw that with the mountain split, um, I saw Christ on his chariot of fire. Okay. And so he is the angel with his sword drawn now coming, um, to ignite the earth on fire, um, with the fire of, of the Holy spirit and, um, the armies of heaven. So this has to do with, um, the armies of heaven as he's coming, um, Let's see. So in the dream, okay, so it was him and the armies of heaven were with him. Okay, so um, the ground that's right now smoldering will literally, when he comes on his chariot of fire, his sword will be drawn and he will literally ignite this earth on fire. Okay, so what what's going to, what is this going to look like? All these prophecies have happened and um, you know, everyone learns where they're at and that's fine, but religion is teaching more of the doom and gloom and the mark of the beast and what that's going to look like. We're a kingdom. We are here to speak the light of things that, um, will occur. So, um, I'm going to walk you through, um, the, the breakdown of this, if you have the Lord's calendar, so you can understand what is actually happening. Okay. So. We have today um, begins the crossing of Jordan. Okay, so we've been in this preparation for now for 710 on, on creation calendar was when the people began to cross the Jordan. Okay, um, we have 710 through 714 is the road to Damascus. And we know the road of Damascus was three days of darkness. Why is like the final um, waking up, you know, basically he's he's pulling his people up saying, you know, it's time to go. There's no, there's no more time. Um, so the road to Damascus between now and the 14th, people will experience the road to Damascus moment. Okay. And this has to do with Elijah and the sleeper cells of, um, the sleeper cells will be awakened. Okay. Uh, this is all for the light. This is all for Heavenly Father and Mother's team. This is all for the heavenly kingdom that is here. This is not a, a, anything to do with darkness. So when I say this, it is not about the darkness. It is about the light. Okay. Um, so then you have 715 Sabbath of light. Okay. So we know if you have creation calendar that God created, um, you know, in Genesis, he talks about, he created the, the sun, the moon, and the stars for the days, months, and years. And so everything, if there's a day that he created, it's manifested in the heavens. And we know that that is done through, um, the signs in the heaven and the moon, um, based on the, the sign, rather it's, you know, new moon, full moon, crescent, half crescent, half waxing, um, that those are when the Sabbath, the new moon feast is always on the new moon. And then you have, um, the first Sabbath on a one or sorry, on the, the eighth of a month, you have the second Sabbath on the full moon, which is the 15th of the month. And you have the third Sabbath, which is on the 22nd of the month. Never ever is there any more than three. So if you look at it, there's always 36 Sabbaths and there's always 12, 
um, 12 um, feast at the beginning of every new moon. And what those were for is the prodigal sons and daughters that were being, being brought back um, into remembrance of their heavenly home. And so um, they become Sabbaths of light. It's all about the light. And um, so if you add those two numbers together, it's 48. So there's there's never any more than 48 of um, between new moon feast and actual Sabbaths in a year. Okay. Um, and then, so then we are going to go to what happens the very, so on the 15th is a Sabbath of light. Not only is it a Sabbath of light, but it is the folding on the axis. So like I showed in the last one, the Maseroth is going to fold on itself and it will fold. The fold will be in the seventh um, spot of the Maseroth. It'll fold the seventh part in half. Okay. Um, and begin that mirroring process. We will go back into those seasons that we just came out of because everything will go into a mirroring process. Okay. Um, uh, and if we've been through the, if the Lord has taken us through the correct Sabbath and what their purpose is and stuff, then we understand the significance of why this is happening on 715, why this flipping of this axis is going to happen on this particular day. It is a beautiful, tender mercy for God's people, for the Lord, right? He said he would gather his, his, um, his house first and then they will go out and help the world. Okay. Um, so then 716, we have a lunar eclipse and we know the balance of what he just had me share in the last video is that the sun and, or sorry, the, the seasons are always based on male and female energy and it's always in balance. Okay. So the lunar eclipse happens on 716. That also is the day that manna ceases. Okay. And it also is the day that the world, um, let's see, 715, the, that night and 16 is Purim. And if we understand what Purim is, it's resurrection, Lazarus. Um, and he's had me talk lots about Lazarus, the unveiling of Lazarus. So it's the unveiling of the Lord's people. Um, but the manna ceases. And if we understand, um, Everything had to be put back into creation balance. And so on this day, the fullness, the fullness is understood and, um, and manna ceases from heaven. 717, the ark rested. Okay. So this is representation of the ceiling is completed of the Lord's people. It's done. At that point, we go into Revelations 8, which is 30 minutes of silence in heaven, which if we understand the 30 minutes, it's a half of a time in a month. If there's, um, that represents, it, it would be um, two seven-day periods, um, which takes us right to 8-1, um, which is the solar eclipse that'll happen. And if you look at 8-1, um, that in in the Bible and connect it to the creation calendar, that's Jericho's, that is the trial run for Jericho's wall. Um, he gave me a message back on 1215 about Jericho's wall. And now I completely understand why. So 8-1, we have this solar eclipse. And um, that is the practice run for the next seven days from 8-2 to 8-8. So we're going to have um, every day. So he told me ring a fire at three. And I couldn't understand until after that last video where I, he had me say ring a fire. But I'm like, I can only give what I have an understanding for. If I don't, I don't, I don't know. So ring a fire at three. So he had me prophesy in another video. He had me share that there will be an eclipse that the world does not, has not recorded. The world does not know is coming. They do. It has never been up to this day. Uh, it has not been um, publicized that it's, it's going to be done. Okay. So between 8-2 and 8-8, seven days, uh, we will see ring of fire at three each day. This is the, the circling of the, the wall of Jericho. Okay. So then, um, eight, eight Jericho falls, and this is judgment and the plagues. So in revelation, um, six, 16, he led, uh, the Lord had me in that yesterday. So it talks about in there that the people refuse to give God the glory and religion is literally wanting everyone to focus on the mark of the beast, which is giving Satan the glory. It's not giving God the glory. And so these plagues and this judgment comes because the people refuse to give God the glory. They refuse to see what God is doing. And, um, and so 
The whole purpose of this video is so that people can see and understand and they can turn away from what the world has been showing them and truly see these events for what they are before, you know, this wall of Jericho falls 8-8 and, and, um, and the judgment and the plagues come. Um, if you understand, you know, first and second Passover, and he had me explain, you know, 815 was the true day of crucifixion that the Lord, the Lord was crucified. That was his true day of crucifixion. So again, as he had me share, you know, be really intentful between the full moon of the 17th or seventh month and the full moon of the eighth month. So if you understand the full moon of the seventh month is always the 15th and the full moon of the eighth month is always the 15th. So literally the 15th to the 15th, all these events, which that very first event of the folding of the earth on its, on its axis literally takes place 715. So between, between today and, um, you know, into, um, let's see, 822. Because that is the the end of the feast of um, unleavened bread, um, and then you know oh, there's a lot. If you have the calendar, you will see it for what it is. Um, but it's brothers and sisters, the time that this world has been waiting for is literally at our doors, and that's why. When he had me share that dream and he had me put the very first dream he'd given me like a day or two prior where I was up on the mountainside and, and I was like, wow, the, that's kind of weird. You know, the, the earth is, is smoking, it's smoldering, but there was no flame yet to it. And he had me share in the last video about our light, Matthew 5, 13 through 16. We are the candlesticks. It's our light. He's going to ignite his people's light. We are the menorahs that dot this earth with our light. So when he comes on his chariot of fire, with the fire of the Holy Spirit, he's coming to ignite his people on fire. He is the angel with his sword drawn on his chariot of fire. Brothers and sisters, this is an absolutely glorious time to be alive. Um, everything... I can tell you with God's work from everything that I have personally experienced is so divinely orchestrated that it just, I can't even put into words like to see how everything has, has unfolded in the way that it has, even in moments where I was just like, God, I don't understand what's happening here. I don't understand. And had I have, you know, there were times where I was told, don't get off the path I have you on. Don't get off the path I have you on. And had I have walked off that path, I would have never been able to understand this. I would have never been able to see this. So we truly have to have our foundation rooted in, in Christ and what Yeshua has taught us. We have to be rooted in him to understand what is truly taking place. So I pray that this helps and gives more further light and insight and that we can see the light in what is taking place and no longer be focused on the darkness because the plagues the people in Revelation 16, I encourage you to read that for yourself. They have sores on their bodies because they were rejecting the light. They were rejecting what God was doing. Instead of giving God the glory, they were giving Satan the glory. And that's not, God's like, no, I'm done. I'm done. If you're my people, you're truly giving me the glory. So that is why the people had sores on their bodies because it was showing that they had rejected the light. So brothers and sisters, um, take this to the Lord for yourself and, um, Wow, I pray that we can truly step into now crossing the Jordan. God bless and have an amazing day.